We've all been wondering, how did their PR tour go? How did the Spare uh, autobiography help Harry's approval rating? How did the Netflix documentary do for them? Well, you know it's bad when your PR tour lands you a little skit, a great skit, on South Park, which did the following bit on those two. You can hear their fake voices uh, in this little skit, which I have to show you some of. Watch this. It has been several months now since our beloved queen has died. Our Canadians are finding it hard to go on. Our Canadians, that is, except for our first guest, the prince and his wife. We want privacy! We want privacy! Hey, thanks for having us on the show! It's so awesome to be here, it's great! So, let me start with you, sir. You've lived a life with the royal family, you've had everything handed to you, but you say your life has been hard, and now you've written all about it in your new book, Wee! Yes, that's right, friend. You see, my wife and I... I'm totally like, you should write a book because your family looks stupid and then so are like journalists. So you hate journalists. That's right. And now you wrote a book that reports on the lives of the royal family. Right. So you're a journalist. Well, I just think some people might say that your Instagram-loving bitch wife actually doesn't want her privacy. How dare you, sir? My Instagram-loving bitch wife has always wanted her privacy. And you know what else? To hell with Canada. We are leaving. <laughs> and then there's a little like signs with them going through all these can all these countries saying privacy, privacy, and everybody just the disdain for them. They've jumped the shark, Garrity. I saw you laughing during the bit. Uh, you tell me, is it over for them in terms of their hopes for being the next Barack and Michelle Obama, or you know, political leaders or influencers here in the United States? All right, Megan. This country was founded by men who were willing to shoot other people in the head so that they wouldn't have to care about what the British royal family was doing. Um, so you're right, we don't talk about the British royals very much on the editors or write about them at, at all. I do see them as roughly akin to the 1980s game War Games because they desperately want attention that even if you denounce them, you're giving them the detention, the attention that they want. So much like that talk about no nuclear war, the only way to win is not to play. So I try not to think about it much as possible. I am pleased to see that more and more of the public, not just here, but apparently around the world, is coming around to my position. <laughs> I feel this is a pronouncement, MBD, that they have jumped the shark, they are not beloved, and her hopes of running for president, reported hopes, are all but dashed. That's, that's not happening. When South Park turns on you, there's no recovering. Right. There was a moment where it seemed like... Uh, Harry and Meghan were going to become the latest thing that Americans polarize over, where all conservatives are critical of them, and so all liberals have to embrace them. But now it's like they're just so cringeworthy and so unsympathetic uh, in a fundamental way that, like, they're of no use to to anyone. But they're overpaid publicists, right? I mean, and and the kind of grifters trying to sell, you know, kitsch attached to their names. Um, you know, the whole the whole result of their giant publicity campaign has been to raise the popularity of Prince William and Kate in the United Kingdom. Right. I mean, mm -hmm. they didn't they you know, they may do, a, you know, some tiny bit of damage to Charles. But I think even his popularity has gone up in the United Kingdom as his coronation is coming up soon because people feel feel bad for him. That, right. That this this child and her his monster wife get to say whatever they like about the royal family and the royal family has all sorts of restrictions formal and informal about how much they can fire back and defend themselves and by being quiet they are subtly subtly winning the game look you did the tough thing during covid you paid your people and pulled your business through the pandemic and now doing the tough thing could qualify you for up to $26,000 per employee at covidtaxrelief.org. Government funds are available right now to reward companies with two or more employees who stayed open during COVID. This is not a loan and you don't have to pay it back. The program's complicated, but no one knows more about it than the CPAs and tax experts at covidtaxrelief.org. You pay nothing up front, they do all the work, and then they share a percentage of the cash they get you. Businesses of all types, including nonprofits and churches, can qualify, including those who took PPP loans, even if you had increases in sales. You did the tough thing for your employees during COVID. Let covidtaxrelief.org help you. In particular, help you get up to $26,000 per employee. Visit covidtaxrelief.org 
covidtaxrelief.org, covidtaxrelief.org. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.